All right, welcome to A Dash of Sports. This is the week four roundup with week five predictions. But before we get into this week's stuff, why don't you click like and subscribe to the channel. Give us a comment, let us know what you think. Give us a thumbs up on the video. Now on to week four roundup. I'll give you my top 10 in here uh, for this week in just a minute. But let's talk about some of the games. Uh, man, uh, is Arkansas for real, folks? Uh, go out there. Um, even with a hurt first string quarterback, they still handle Texas A&M pretty well. They got a great defense, um, but they put it to Texas A&M and they are on the move in Texas. That makes that loss look even better now, right now for you guys. So by any means, Texas, you're not out of the race in the big 12. In fact, that brings me to my next point is Texas the best team in the big 12 right now. I have to say yes. Uh, against Texas tech, they put on a show. Um, the running game was phenomenal. Um, there was some defense lacking a little bit on both sides, but overall, Texas just dominated on the offensive side of the ball, and I think right now they're probably the best team in the Big 12, followed by Baylor. But we'll get into that more this week uh, on the Red River Football Show. Check it out on Thursdays, uploaded on Fridays. Uh, next up, uh, OU fans out of control. I don't even know where to start with this. Uh, yeah, you pay the you pay your ticket prices. You can have your opinion, but uh, if you're sitting in the stands complaining about what's going down on the field, maybe you should get down on the field and play in those kids' places. That's my opinion. Yeah, I can sit on here and, and criticize and things like that, but I don't boo the team, uh, especially when I'm not out there. I mean, I get it. I can see some things from the stands. I can see some things from the from the the TV but let's be real you're not playing the game those kids are yeah maybe maybe it is a change up for a quarterback maybe it's not the coach knows best Lincoln Riley said it best he says it's a team effort it's not just one person making mistakes it's not just Spencer Rattler and don't even get me started on the NIL it has nothing to do with it it's all about what's being played on the field at this time yeah you know the kids are making money. It has nothing to do with the NIL, so get off of it. I, I, I just don't understand. I don't even understand that argument. But we'll get more into that again on Wednesday. But back to back to booing um, these kids. I think I think Spencer hand, uh, handled it well. Uh, that last drive, um, when he actually had protection from the offensive line, they drove down. And scored the winning field goal. When he actually had time to drive and, and, and make a throw. So I, I, I see it. I watched the game. It, it was not just Spencer Rattler. It's it's the offensive line. It's the running backs. It's it is Spencer a little bit. Um the defense did well, but they gave up on you know, they gave up some big yards on third and fourth down. You cannot do that. So it is a team, it is a team effort, not just a coach. Not just a quarterback, it's a team effort. Yes, OU fans, you're used to scoring 50 and 60 points. But somebody brought it up. The last time they won a national championship, they only scored 13 points, and the defense shut them out. That was Florida State in 2000. There's going to be close games. That's my opinion. If you don't like it, that's fine. If you do like it, let me know. Let me know what your opinions are. Do you think I'm wrong? Leave a comment. Can anyone catch Georgia and Alabama? I mean, those two teams are tough right now. Um, putting up some points. Uh, they, they, they are the best, the two best teams in the nation. I got it. Uh, anybody below them is just scrapping, trying to fight, and trying to get third and fourth. I th those are the only two dominant teams. I don't know if there's anybody else out there that really just can say they're dominant. I don't know about Oregon. Yeah, they have a good signature win against Ohio State. I don't know about Penn State. Uh, that BYU, or excuse me, that 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 Auburn win right now is looking pretty crappy. How they played against Georgia was it Georgia Southern or Georgia State? I mean, it, it took a fourth quarter uh, miracle for them. So I don't know if that Auburn game looks good right now. Uh, but I don't know if there's anybody out there that can really just say they're dominant besides Alabama and Georgia. So let me know what you think in the comments. Am I right or am I wrong? Uh, speaking of, has Dabo lost his mojo in Clemson? Has he lost that offensive mindset? Looking so right now, um, man, they just do not, do not look good. 
uh, all around. Defense, offense, they just do not look like the team that we've seen in the past. But this is a weird year. This is a totally weird year for us. Uh, teams that we thought that were going to dominate are just not dominating. And there's teams that I, I didn't even have in the top 50 that are breaking the top 25, breaking the top 10. So it's a crazy year. And it just goes to show that, you know, any given Saturday, you you can beat any team if you're putting the plan together. And last but not least, I want to know from the Big Ten fans, who is better? Iowa or Penn State? Like I said, I think Iowa has a little bit better signature win right now against uh, Iowa State. Uh, and Penn State, that win against Auburn just doesn't look good right now to me. That's me. But they are, in my opinion, the top two teams in the Big Ten right now. Um, they're going to play each other in a couple weeks, so we'll know for sure who's the real deal. Um, but I still, I'm sticking by my guns. I think Iowa, in my opinion, right now is the best team in the Big Ten. I still think they sneak into that top four uh, for the playoffs this year. That is uh, what I think as far as uh, uh, the, the roundup on college football. Like I said, we had Nebraska even taking it to the Sparties. Nebraska had that game. So... Does that make the OU win against Nebraska look a little bit better? Yeah, they, they've kind of stumbled against Iowa, or excuse me, Illinois at the beginning of the season. I don't know. The, Nebraska's looking a lot better than I thought they would. So, I don't know. Does that win, even though they lost to Michigan State, does that win that OU has look a little bit better now? We'll find out. All right, so on to my top ten. Again, I base my top 10 on by performances, by signature wins, not by, uh, you know, what what f media thinks, what fans think, thing like that. So I got coming in at number 10, BYU. BYU has a pretty good signature win against Utah. They're looking good, undefeated. Uh, another team, another team, if all goes well, we could be see sneaking into the top four, if all goes well. Coming in at number nine, Notre Dame. Had a rough first half against Wisconsin, uh, but blew them out there in the second half. Uh, so that was, uh, I, got, I still got them at number nine. Coming in at number eight, two great signature wins by this team. Two great signature wins. They beat, a, at least in my opinion now, a good Texas team. And they beat, I know they beat a Texas A&M team that's without their starting quarterback. I got it. But they handed it to them. They, they were in the game the whole time. Uh, so I got Arkansas at number eight, and I think I think they can they can pretty. I mean, we're gonna find out this weekend against Georgia if Arkansas is for real. We will find out if they're for real or if they're just gonna kind of be in that mid tier of the SEC. We'll find out this weekend. Coming in at number seven, still the best team in Ohio, Cincinnati. Uh, they're gonna they got a test this weekend too. Uh, we got two teams, we got a lot of games in the top, uh, top 10 teams playing this weekend. So we'll see if they're for real. Cincinnati and Notre Dame play this weekend. I got Cincinnati at number seven. Um, and so we'll see. Coming in at number six, I got Penn State. Again, I still not sold on that Auburn win. Um, you can agree, disagree. Let me know in the comments of what you think. Number five, I got Oklahoma. Yeah, they drop a little bit in all the polls. Uh, but a win, you're winning. You're winning your games. If you can continue to win your games, even if they're not pretty, you're sitting undefeated at the end of the season. Who knows? Are they the team that we thought they were at the beginning of the season? No. No, they're not. They're not even close to that team that they were uh, that we thought. Can they be? If they get on the same uh, page, I think they can. They need to have a good showing against Kansas State this weekend up in uh, Manhattan, Kansas. We'll see. Ah, number four, Iowa. Like I said, I'm, I'm, I'm still big on this team. I think they are the best team in the Big Ten. Until they prove me wrong, we'll find out. Number three, Oregon. Uh, still looking pretty good. That, that big win over Ohio State still sits pretty with them. And I just don't think right now there's anybody in the Pac-12 that can keep up with them. Maybe UCLA. Who knows? I just don't think there's any... Anything for them to 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 look back on right now. We know that Oregon, some every once in a while, has a stumble uh, in the season. 
Maybe this is their year not to. Maybe this is their year to, to hit the, the playoffs. It's going to be good to find out. And then number two and number one stayed the same. Like I said, I don't know if anybody can beat them. We're going to find out against Arkansas and Georgia this weekend. Uh, that'll be a good game. We'll, uh, we'll see how it goes. But uh, Georgia number two, Alabama number one. I just don't know if there's anybody that can beat. They're dominant. They're dominant. They're dominant on both sides of the ball. So that's my top 10. Let me know what you think. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I'd like to hear your thoughts, comments. Um, please feel free to share them with me. All right, let's get into this week's pick. Uh, last week's winner, Timothy O'Lynn. Uh, for upset weekend, he had a decent 6-4 and four record. So congratulations, uh, Chief, on that win. Um, uh, we'll get with you on your prize. And we had a couple of guest pickers, so I'd like to have some more guest pickers this week. If you, do, if you uh, are a guest picker, we'll take the first top five that uh, put in their, their picks. And you'll get a $20 gift card to Amazon. So, without further ado, let's get into this week's picks. We got the 10 games. Um, uh, coming up first, I got Arkansas versus Georgia. Man, this is going to be a good game. I don't know if Arkansas's luck can still hold out. I got Georgia 34, Arkansas 27. Coming in at the next pick, Cincinnati versus Notre Dame. I've got this a one-point game. This is going to be close. I don't know if it's a blowout like Notre Dame had there in that second half against Wisconsin, but I've got Cincinnati 28, Notre Dame 27. I just, I'm really high on Cincinnati, um, so I think they've got a good shot at it. Coming in, the next game. I hate doing this. I, I, I really hate doing this. I hate having OU in, in there, but. Until they can until, until they can show me, like I, I just talked about, until they can show me 60 minutes of pure, unadulterated, 100% full-out football for 60 minutes. I got OU 21, Kansas State 28. K-State has had their number the last couple years, and I think they still got it. I think, I think the teams have figured out Oklahoma's plan. So I've got K-State 28, OU 21. Uh, some more unbeatens in the, the SEC. Mississippi 24, Alabama 41. Mississippi 24, Alabama 41. I just don't think anybody can beat Alabama. It's it, Nick Saban has got that team roaring, and even though they stumble a few times each each week, they're still un, uh, they just still look unbeatable. Ah, uh, coming in Oregon versus Stanford. I got Oregon 35, Stanford 10. I just don't think, again, like I said uh, a few moments ago, there's nobody that can test Oregon. I don't think they can test Oregon. So Oregon 35, Stanford number 10. Uh, Florida, Kentucky. Florida 35, Kentucky 17. Again, I just, Florida looks good, even with a brand new team this year, brand new look. They look pretty good. They almost took it to Alabama. That's the only time Alabama looked vulnerable to me this year. Um, but Florida, 35. Kentucky, 17. Baylor, kind of a surprise right now. Baylor's kind of a surprise right now in the Big 12. They're leading the Big 12. Um, but they got a good game at Oki State. They're going into Stillwater. But I don't think they have enough. Uh, Oklahoma State looked pretty good against Kansas State. I know that Kansas State is down to like their third string quarterback. I got that. But your third string quarterback doesn't stop on defense. He doesn't play on defense. Um, and they did not look good on defense this past weekend. Uh, Kansas State didn't. But Oki State looked pretty good. Uh, uh, Spencer Sanders had a fairly decent outing as, as, a, as a passing quarterback this time. Um, can he do it again? I got Oki State 31, Baylor 28. Oki State 31, Baylor 28. Ah, Indiana, Penn State up next. Um, a lot of signature matches in all of the, of the, you know, the big five, the power five conferences, Indiana at Penn state. I got Indiana 27, Penn state 30. Um, I don't think anybody's got anything for Penn state until they play Iowa. Um, but I could be wrong. Let's see. Indiana 27, Penn state 30. Ah, coming up next Boston college versus Clemson. And I just don't know if Clemson has anything left in the tank this year, guys. 
Uh, man, I, I I picked them to be the ACC winner, uh, followed by North Carolina. Both them teams laying a big goose egg as far as as staying in the game over the weekends. Um, I just I don't know. I don't know if they've got it, but we'll see. I got Boston College 27, Clemson 24. And your final game of the week for your final picks. Auburn going into Louisiana State. Auburn looked atrocious. And if it wasn't for some miraculous plays there in the in the end of the game, Auburn loses to a, a an inferior team. Auburn loses to an inferior team. You know, we can sit there and say, oh, Oklahoma, you know, but we're not talking about Auburn and some of these other teams out there. Let's talk about some of these other teams later this week when you watch the Red River uh, football show with me and Vern. So I hope you'll tune into that on Thursday night. But last up, Auburn versus LSU. I got Auburn 17, LSU 24. I think it's a little bit of a, a old SEC slobber knocker between these two teams. I think uh, LSU's got a little bit more than Auburn does. 24-17 is my final and that ladies and gentlemen is dash of sports uh week four roundup week five predictions please let me know what you think in the comments uh make sure you get your picks in by friday uh 8 p.m central time give me some guest speakers out there give me some or some guest pickers uh, i like to have you know some fun with this share it with your friends share it with your your family let them know that we're out there and we do this every week uh so congrats to the winner timothy olin Chris Price, you're still in first place with the overall uh, record of 25 and 15. Um, so, looking good, buddy. So, thank you for watching this week. Remember, like, subscribe, share it with your friends, uh, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, guys. Have a good night.